back here in JKI, one of the departments, not going to mention, my views, you know, um, I've never seen an Indian person working alone in a specific place. And definitely, if an Indian guy takes this, they are done in group and everything. Some of us might lose our jobs because he will have to bring all his family members and everyone. That's how those people work. So the problem is we don't want him. Just Adani must go. That's a fact. Because most of us will lose our job. That's the scary part. And at a change all the system to his new system, we know how it works. So Adani must go. That is my views. Uh, uh, we were told to come at work uh, in the morning. kutoka eight. Until now, there's no communication. Tunachomeka tunajua. Tunapewa mkate na maji. Atujui natoka wapi, lakini lazima tutuchukwe juu. We have been here since morning, no any communication. Uh, my view on uh, this situation is uh, I'm also against Adani. Adani uh, most of us are going to lose our job here in the airport because tunajua wahindi, tumefanya kazi na wahindi, tumekuwa tukiuzia wahindi huko ndani and those people they value their family. So whenever they come in a place, lazima wakuje na familia yao, so they are going to replace every department in airport. We don't want to lose our jobs. Yeah, my name is Elia Sakau and I was traveling to Diani using Jumbo Jet. I came here at around 9 a.m. My flight was supposed to depart at 10.45 but obviously on my way I got a communication that uh, there's a strike and there will be delays. And then uh, we were told that the next communication is going to happen in the next three hours. It's past the three hours now. Uh, we haven't received any communication. But the good thing is that uh, at the moment the flights are not cancelled. So we're just told that it's going to be delayed but we may be able to travel at some point. So we are hopeful that uh, at some point we'll get a communication on when the flights are ready to begin. The flight was for, is for 12 noon. I know there'll be a delay. Kenya Airways gave us the notifications that flights were delayed, uh, but we should still come to the airport. Um, I hope that we will be able to resolve the issues. Um, I think this was a strike notice that was given, and I feel sometimes that as government, we need to be able to sit and discuss. I think Kenyans just, you know, first of all, Kenyans have to understand what is it that the Adani group is going to provide? I think what's important is that the government should come clear. And I mean, we, that's the reason why you have a government spokesman. Break it down so that people understand everything. So how much money is the Adani group going to put? Because I'm a parliamentarian, I'm not in the transport committee, and I want answers too. So I want to know how much money is the Adani group going to put into refurbishing the airport? What are they going to do in terms of the terminals? I personally, as Secretary General of Kotu, I tried to call the then Minister, uh, Honorable Murkomen, before when this thing started, with a view of trying to educate him or to advise him to meet the workers and explicitly explain uh, this uh, a done issue to workers. <coughs> Minister, our ministers are arrogant. They don't take telephones. If they are taking telephones, they are taking telephones from businessmen or employers, and they disregard workers' uh, 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 calls. This is very dangerous. This is what has brought all about what is happening here now. And we are urging our members to remain firm, to remain strong, they have our support yes. 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 until we report back on this particular issue.